what's going on. I'm playing Wii Music. And, uh, I just started out in the main menu this time just for a change. Because every time I start this thing, I'm always in here. So, up next is Japanese style. Japanese style only has four parts. And two of them are percussion. Yeah, that's right. Let's begin our lesson on the basics of Japanese style. So, this is traditional Japanese music. Playful skip that drives the rhythm. That's that's the secret. Okay, it's a playful skip. I think also one of the most important things to traditional Japanese music is the instruments used. As you'll see, it's got a, a rhythm with extra oomph on the first and third beat. Alright, we'll use a music flow guide. So, in general, like before even talking about any specific part, it says there's an extra oomph, extra oomph on one and three, the first and third beat. The percussion parts lay down rhythms that help guide the rest of the band. We want to focus on getting a steady rhythm. We're playing the taiko drum, that's what it is, it's called the taiko drum. Strike those notes with heart and intensity. The second of the four notes is the tricky one. Hit it slightly after the second bebop. The bebops are like the the little characters that represent a metronome. It's so funny how they're called bebops. So hit the fourth note strong. Hear what he says. There we go. That's cool. Because it's not on like uh, it's not on a quarter note. I mean, it's on the upbeat, that's on another, that's on another 16 note thing. Oops. I didn't actually do all those extra notes. It just like did it. Stupid emulator. It's okay. I think I did all right. Like, like. Like that was like a, a B minus or like a C plus. That was not good. That was like I didn't do good, but I didn't fail. So there's no harmony here. It's just percussion, percussion, bass, melody. So after uh, taiko drum are bells, and this the bells are gonna be a percussion instrument. So. The bells follow a very simple pattern. If you find it a little too simple, feel free to add your own touches. Yep, that's all we have to say. Quarter notes. That's nice and simple, eh? So get a good feel for it and start. This is gonna be real easy. Keeping the rhythm. See, it's all about the instruments in this style.
I did not add a single elaboration that time. I was just trying to make it sound good. Next part. The bass. And the bass is going to be with the instrument called the shamisen. We're playing the shamisen. Shamis, shamisen, shamisen. Maybe I'm not saying it right. I don't know. So you'll take a long break in the middle of the pattern. This lets the taiko and shamisen talk to each other. See, the instruments talk to each other by like one doing some stuff and the other like stops. Like that one stops and the other one starts. You know, like they go back and forth. So. Having respect for each other's musical space is an essential part of traditional Japanese music. Wow, that's amazing. Wow, having respect for each other's space. So it's literally like, like I was wondering why the taiko drum was only like Hit, being hit like at the beginning and then it stops like it, it hits on the third beat then it stops for, so it's like got a whole two beats of just waiting that's because that's when the shamisen plays that's amazing because it's about having respect that's so funny I kind of screwed up. I screwed up, screwed up, screwed up. I forgot the rhythm. This is the first time. I was like, wait a second. I gotta make sure I get this right. Uh, next. Uh, practice. Damn it. I screwed up again. Oh my god. Go, go, go. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think I, I might have gotten it right for... I don't know. Whatever. I know I'm sure of it. It's uh, not. It's not too bad. It's very easy once you know that rhythm. Once you know that rhythm, you can just get into it. And just close your eyes and just keep playing it. And it's not hard at all. It's easy to remember. It sticks with you. Melody time. No harmony, just melody. And it's a flute. So. When playing the flute during this style, don't run notes together. Allow for pauses to give all the instruments their space. Alright, so when you're ready, suck starts. Of course I will.
so yeah, like, I tried to, like, go, like, slowly up and down between, like, tight notes and then lo slightly longer notes. But not, like, fully holding. Yeah, maybe you noticed it. That's what I tried to do that time. Oh, that one was, uh... It's not as good as, a te as uh, the Latin one. Everything that isn't amazing is gonna be under 50, because I made such an amazing 150. Tycho drums. I don't know why I make them so big, but maybe it's because I, I want it to be like that. I think it's it looks cooler. Why would you have like a full person? Why not have a background and then like part of the instrument? It's cooler that way. So you can focus on that part, like on, on part of an instrument. Let's watch this video. We worked so hard for it. It's a four piece. That's the video. And we just watched it. That's awesome. Good for us. We're all done. And yeah. Yes indeed, our lesson on basic patterns of traditional Japanese style has run its course. Sayonara. There we go. Japanese is done. See look rock. All done. What about pop? All done. Yeah, I'm gonna go through them all. That's right. Marching band. Jazz. That was a long time ago. All this stuff. Classical music. Yeah, that's all done. What about Hawaiian style? Oh, Hawaiian. Yeah, all done. How about reggae? All done. Latin? Latin is my personal favorite. We did tango. And what did we do today? We did Japanese. And guess what's coming up next? Electronic music. Six pieces. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get to that next time. So I'll see you later, and we'll play more Wii, Wii music. Yeah, see ya.